Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I have another Dwarven Forge unboxing. This time, the Majestic Waterfalls Deluxe Pack from the Wildlands um, line. Um, you know, I've gotten some lovely uh, escarpments for some cliff faces, and I've gotten some beautiful, you know, water uh, and river texture mats. But wouldn't it be nice? if the river can go off the cliff face as a waterfall. It can. So let's take a look. And just a handful of pieces here to make this waterfall a reality. Uh, oh. We'll start with just a few of these little plugs. Because the waterfall, like the cliff faces, have little spots where things can connect to it. And this is a little way to do greenery. I showed these in the escarpments video, but so they have ways to cover those with greenery. Um, let's pull up actual waterfall piece. Here we go. Of course, there's a transparency to these. Oh, oh there's a little, there's a little fish. It's not painted in it or anything. Um, and they have this sort of carve in shape here. Um, you can see sort of the, the line of stone that dips down below it on the back. So it is even kind of painted there where like you can have that facing and that looks like you're looking in the middle of some pool of water. Anyways, just sort of textured water going down. Um, we have a spot here where a mini can stand as they're trying to jump their way across said waterfall. A uh, little greenery involved around here. Then we have our second piece, which also has another fish, a different spot. So two different, two different fishes. This one also has the cutout shape. This one has that hole like I was showing. So that's where one of these greenery plugs, like I said, would come in. You can just pop it in and it just makes another patch of greenery in there instead of having the hole. Um, although with the hole you could those. We have two of these, which we also got in the um, escarpments. And they can of course be like just set on their top and be a little piece of stone as is, but they have a hole here where you can put a plug in and you can put that in there to be like a, again, another climbing spot along the waterfall if you want. Um, so it's opening that up. There's these wedges. I'm sure we'll get to when trying to build with, but so yeah. Some areas where you can make the waterfall just continue here. And we have two of these. These um, I had one of in the escarpments for the one of the quiff pieces and they are what fill this back fill piece and let it just kind of go in with the normal width how wide the different um escarpments are now why would they do it this way it might be like that kind of confusing but why are they doing that well before we had these escarpments for wildlands we had the cave cliff pieces. And if you don't use it as part of that, it's the proper height and width to line up and use with the clave, cave cliff pieces. Now, obviously the color is a little bit off, but just to be, oh, that's just the color of the stone as it is around the waterfall. And it's fine, 
that means you can use these waterfalls in your cavern systems as well. So that, just thought I'd point that out. That's why they did this whole thing where they have these adapters to make it the right width. Now that's still not the right height. What are we gonna do about that? That is where these final couple of pieces come in. It's just two of the same piece. And it is just clear, textured stone that this can just sit on and go. And now it is the right height. And likewise, this other, you know, because there's obviously a different footprint on each of these. They're slightly different, but they both line up just fine. Now, the reason for these is to help with this flat part right here. To help you blend it into whatever you need beyond, you know. You can do different things with it, but yeah, that's... That's the idea, is these are to help blend in that edge. And of course, you can line these up this way. They'll also work to line them up that way. I'm sure you can double this at the bottom line these up here just different ways to stack them to give a different look different times and like what about this bottom part where was that gonna go well, that's where this texture mat comes in so now you have the texture mat with the flow out This can just kind of stack in to go there. Of course, you have a river texture mat. You can come in at the top and use things like this here as well to uh, blend things in. There's a whole array of banks and trifecta ledges to help with that as well. But I mean, you have some little pieces here to make it where you get your stack of waterfall bits and you can help build them out in whatever necessary way to spill out into your texture mats from your rivers um, use the little pieces to help hide edges Use little green plugs or put on little stones for people to stand and jump going their way across the waterfall and get it into your adventure. If you make it work alongside your escarpments or without the adapters to work alongside your cavern pieces. All sorts of options. Very cool to have. It's pretty translucent pieces. It's water pieces. All things that I like. Um, so yeah, no, it's just a neat thing to uh, exist. Um, you know, I like Dove and Forge and I like water and this makes for pretty water looking tiles. Um, and this is the deluxe pack. The not deluxe pack doesn't let you do quite as much, but it gives you just some of the waterfall pieces to be able to do, you know, a basic waterfall as well. Um, but yeah, the various options for inserting waterfalls into your cliffs and escarpments. Um, I'll link to Dwarven Forge's website down below and check it out. Uh, Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.